What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews, and this time we're gonna be looking at a brand new stylus that I just got in, and we're gonna be using this with the iPad Pro 12.9. This is the Adonit Note M, and I think you're gonna like this because I feel like this is one of the most innovative stylus that we've had for our iPad to date. So let's check it out. Quickly looking at the boxing for this device, it says mouse stylus. So right up front that piqued my interest because mouse stylus, never heard of it. So I wanted to check it out and see what this was like. Now I've used a Donut devices before and this one is no different. It's a stylus um, slash Apple pencil replacement for your device. It actually comes with your normal instructions, uh, the actual casing and the pencil itself. It also has a USB Type-C charging cable that comes in the box with it. So just to do a little real estate on this, this does charge via USB Type-C. It has two physical buttons on it, one up top for your mouse control and the other down here for your power on and off. You got an LED right here that's going to come on. Once you hold that down, your LED comes on, flashes green, lets you know that it is working. So there are actually two separate ways to use this. One is with the stylus tip, which is right here. You can write as normal. And then the other way is using this thing as a mouse, which you have an optical sensor right up top. We're gonna try that out in just a little bit, but first we wanna make sure that the actual stylus capability is working with our iPad. Now, as with normal stylus devices, other than your Apple Pencil, you cannot have your Apple Pencil connected to this device while you are using these devices. So Apple Pencil connection has to be severed. You gotta cut that. So in order to use this as a stylus, all you gotta do is turn it on and watch it work. But if you wanna use this as a mouse, you gotta go one step further. So you have to actually connect this through your Bluetooth. I'm gonna hold the mouse button down and then what's gonna happen now is my blue light will start to flicker right there. Show me that it's in pairing mode. I just click on a donut and we should be good to go the pair button and we are paired. Now let's try this out because in order to use it in a mouse mode, you got to turn it upside down and your bottom acts as a click and top acts as a click as well. So you can see it already reacting. You have to do this off the screen of the iPad. You can't do it over here on the actual iPad itself because it will not work. Now, like I said, this is very innovative, but it's still a little gimmicky, a little wonky at times, but you can see I'm able to control the mouse right here. So moving this mouse around, you get, um, let's see if we can change up, uh, boom. Uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to get rid of that. There we go. Uh, we don't want to get rid of that either. So the mouse feature on here is it can be changed. So you can go into your settings and change the speed and how all this works. Actually, let's go into those settings and change some of this stuff around and see if we can get this working just a little bit better. Okay, so if you actually go in and change your settings on your scroll speed and all that, you can actually kind of slow this down to where you can keep up with it. And your bottom button is going to be your select button. So if you want to select, um, let's see, let's select the app store, hover over it and you click and there you go. So you come into the app store, you can dot. I click on whatever you want to click on and if you ever need to go away from that what you're on you just come back down here and you hover and click on your home button right there or your swipe up to get back home so this is like I said a little gimmicky at times sometimes it gets a little wonky but I still think it's a good feature a good function that you can kind of play with now a lot of people are probably just not buying this for the mouse capability because most people have either trackpad magic keyboard or a third-party mouse that you're going to be using but i think if you can get a stylus and a mouse in one that kind of sweetens the deal just a little bit now we didn't talk much about the actual stylus feature stylus does everything apple pencil does without pressure sensitivity so let's just keep that in mind everything apple pencil does from screenshot to Let's do a markup. And there is no lag when writing with this. We're gonna just get rid of that. If you wanna actually go into notes, feel free to do so. And you can still take advantage of making your shapes. All of this still works. 
there are no issues uh, when using your iPad and any of these features that were already uh, available on there. But people are gonna also wanna know if this will work with Scribble. So we pull down to get to our search and we're gonna say Adonit. Note. M. Boom. Click on that. Takes us to Google. And this is the device that we're working with right here. So Scribble is still going to work. All of your shapes are still going to work when you're in notes. Note taking is still going to be a breeze. Uh, latency is really good on this. And pressure sensitivity is still not there. Uh, so if you're an artist, I think you may still want to pick up the Apple Pencil. But like I said, everything else works great. It's very smooth, very responsive, and it actually still comes with a mouse that you can use if you flip it over. And one other feature, it's magnetic. So that's been it guys, the Adonit Note M, you can go by and check it out. I'll be sure and drop a link below. Uh, a nice little stylus that I just got in and I think it's one that probably be worth you checking out. Especially if you like little like nuances like a mouse in a stylus i think this is one that you would probably want to look at so hopefully this has been able to help someone out until next time be sure and give me a big thumbs up please subscribe average take out peace